Good morning and welcome back to the channel. So hopefully today we're going to work on page two of this journal. Yesterday we had to fix a whoopsie because we decided to put it in upside down. Whoops. So today we're going to work on page two and hopefully three. I don't know how long it's going to take me to get through them. I did do a lot of the cutting beforehand and I think that's how I'm going to continue to do this because it does take a lot of time just to cut, measure, and plan out each page. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is take everything from page two, pull it out of the book, set the book aside, and we're gonna start working on that. Now, if I can remember how I wanted to do this. Um, I think I was going to do a double pocket with a flip, or a, yeah. No, a single pocket with a flip. That's what I was going to do. So this will be here, this will be here, and then this will all flip up like that. And I think, I'm not sure if I want to put a magnet here or not. I don't think I do, but I want to put something like, hey, this is a flippy flip, and I'm not sure what to put there. So let's go ahead and put this part down first. Um, this is going to be our back, our back piece. And the glue is not going to come out for me. Don't spit at me though. And I guess that works. Come on. Alright. So we're going to line this up here. this piece and put it right there. I don't think this has direction. The words are kind of going every which way. Because there are words on here, but they're like going all kinds of different directions. Okay. See, I don't know if you can see the words in there, but they're like going all kinds of crazy directions. All right, so then this is going to be our pocket. So we're not going to glue it all the way down because it's going to be a pocket right there. But I am going to erase some of these pencil marks down here. Because we did a lot of tracing the templates to get them cut out. Alright, so we're going to go around the edge. Sure that lines up with the other page or paper. Any glue that squirts out, just kind of rub that off. All right, 
So we've got this one and these two to go like that. So these are going to be double matted. Well, there's a mat and then there's a card. But I don't know how I want to Hmm. I wonder that that might work actually I think that's gonna work all right let's do that Oh, my finger. I don't necessarily want the tab to be super big. Just enough to say, hey, fool me. Yeah, I like that. just scooting this over a little bit it makes this little tab a little bit shorter but more centered okay so now I'm gonna put this piece down make sure you get to the edge so I want to grab that ribbon And then this side's going to have the two pumpkins. I love this paper. Let's see, that is not. There it is. I've got this piece left. Well, there's a whole nother piece to it, but that's what I've got left so far of that 112 by 12. I've used it a couple times. <laughs> I like the pumpkin one. Line that up. There we go. And these are all called photo mats. 
where you can put pictures. I think it's a term that is taken from the scrapbooking world because ultimately, well, that's kind of what this is, is it's a scrapbook, but it's a miniature scrapbook, which is called, why it's called a mini album, um, like a mini photo album. But obviously there are many things that you can do with a book like this. You can journal in it for sure. So if you like journaling, oh, that scared the bejesus out of me. The mail lady's here and she dropped something on my front porch and it scared me. All right. So now that is done. Oh, how cute. I love that. So then, and as you can see, some of the pages are a little bit more elaborate, like this one, uh, with the double flip and the pocket, and some of them can just be super duper simple. So we don't need this paper clip anymore, because we're going to glue this straight down like that, and we're going to double check and make sure our book's right side up, but it's going to go straight down just like that. Oh my gosh, she dropped something else. She's still here. <laughs> what is going on out there? It's nice and even, which the Fabri-Tac will allow you to do. It gives you just a little bit of time so you can slide it to whatever direction you need to. Okay, and then we also have a pocket right here that we're going to put another photo mat. That, that's going to be a big photo mat though. And you guys will see that. Oh, so cute. Okay, so this one's going to be a little bit more elaborate. 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 <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so what we're going to do with this one is we're going to put that there. We're going to put that there, which is a belly band. This has got a double layer, but it's got scrap. Uh, it's got the cardstock with the scrapbook paper with another scrapbook paper. Then we're going to put this one is going to have a magnet. Then we're going to put a flip but it's going to be two flips. It's going to be one on the top and one on the bottom. Well, one on the top and one on the bottom. Like that. Okay. And I haven't figured out where we want to put the magnets yet, but I know that the, one of the magnets is going to go on this page. So let me go ahead and do that real quick as soon as I find the magnets that I set somewhere. There they are. Open sesame. So the magnets are pretty simple. Um, I'm going to put this on my scissors so I don't lose it. I'm going to put a little dot there and drop our magnet. And we're just going to leave it be for now and let that dry. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put this back on here, like that. But we're not going to put the other magnet on just yet. But I do want to make sure that I didn't put too far up before I glue this down. Which I think I did.
Nope. I'm going to scoot it down just a little bit, though. There we go. Okay. So basically what I wanted to avoid was getting the magnet too far up to where the magnet on this page was too far this way, not being covered by the, the map. And as you can see, I'm going to have to do a lot of erasing on this other paper, but that's okay. Oops. All right. And this one's got a very thin border, but a border nonetheless. Okay. We're going to push around that magnet to make sure it's nice and down. Okay. Just like that. I'm going to put the other side on. So it's going to sit like this. And so this one needs to go like that. I don't think I need to erase on this one. Nope. I do not. I kind of want to go check them out and see what's in there. <laughs> but I'm not going to. You'll see if it's any kind of Etsy shop or whatever, I'll put it in tomorrow's video. Which it might be. Because I've been scouring Etsy the last few days. Um, just looking for different shops that, you know, have handmade items that I can share with you guys and whatnot. Not share as in, like, you know, share the information. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. All right. So this is actually going to go behind here. Like this. Just like that. Okay, let's go ahead and glue that though. Now that I have it lined up nicely. Okay. And then this other one is going to go, let's see, maybe we should put it on the back of this one. Um, let's see, how do we want to do this? Where are you going to sit? Well, I guess that doesn't really matter. Uh, let's line this up and then we'll glue this one down too. I think I want to put it right here on the top. Alright, so <clears throat> the best way that I've found to do the second magnet is to put a strip of double sided tape down where you think it's going to go and hope that's where it's going to go. Nope, I missed. And then you push it down and you push onto that magnet. And when you pull up, it should grab the magnet. Okay. And now let's see, we're doing this one, I think. Yeah. 
I think I want to put something on the bottom of this, like a sticker or something, because a lot of my stickers are 3D, which aren't necessarily a hot commodity in the journaling world, but great in mini albums, because you have a half an inch gusset between each page. And the gusset, I'll show you just a second. <clears throat> The gusset is that thing between each page. Okay, let me grab this. So this right here, that's the gusset. This right here, that's the gusset. See? And because you have a half an inch space between each page, it's a lot easier to use 3D items. Okay. But I think I want to put something right here. But that's really cute. I like that. Or maybe even something on the top. Ooh, that'd be cute. Okay. Let's do this bottom piece. And then we can, that's the long side. And then we can do the belly band. Oops. Okay. Looks like more of the words are going this way. Oh, crud. No! Ooh, that was close. I forgot to erase and I just need it off the edge um, don't have to erase the whole thing just the ones off the edge because it's um it'll be covered up mostly All right, then we've got ourselves a little flippy flap. So now I want to put this on here and make sure that it goes nicely, which it does not. So I'm gonna have to trim ever so slightly off of all of them. I think I'm going to use the board only because I will be able to measure. Uh, well, no, on that board I'm not. I was thinking about getting a compact rotary trim because I really like the rotary. I think what it is is I don't like this blade because I have a Fiskars, the same blade, and I don't like it which is why I got this one. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Open, so the me. All right, so right now we're at six and a quarter. So let's go to, let's go to six. So I took off a quarter inch. That's what we need to do on all of them. That looked like way more than a quarter inch, but maybe not. Yes, it did. Cool. 
All right. So, let's fold that back up so it doesn't get broken. Oh my goodness gracious, trimmer. The trimmer's fighting with me. All right, hopefully that is short enough. Yeah. Okay. Yes, perfect. All right, so we're just gonna put it on the top here. And the bottom. Then line that up about as even as you can get it. And by putting the glue straight on the paper instead of having like flaps, what you're going to do is you're actually creating a tighter um, pocket than if you create flaps. Like a lot of the belly bands in her kit have the flaps like that the pockets have like this and it actually makes the pocket inside really loose um, and I normally cut the flaps off and just use them straight on the paper <clears throat> excuse me all right so this one's gonna go straight down Okay, and then this one, this is the bottom, goes like that. And voila, we have ourselves another page. But I do want to put something because I feel like it needs something right here. <clears throat> and it doesn't need like a closure or anything, but it needs something. And I don't really want to put it on this because of the words down here. So let's see if we can't find a nice, good, pretty sticker. Fall into autumn, that's cute. I like the tree. Oh, that's cute. The pumpkins are nice. That's a lot of pumpkins. It's the wrong kind of pumpkin. Some leaves. Some more leaves. Some more pumpkins. Some turkey. All right, let's see. What do you look like? Uh, did I click off of you? Okay, I did because I accidentally threw my glue on my keyboard. I really like this tree and I really like the fall into autumn. See what that looks like. <clears throat> it's too big, but I don't have to use all of the layers. If I use just the the top couple layers, it'll be fine. So 
I just use four? Let's see. Yeah, I think that would work. I am going to take this foam off though because I don't want it quite in that bulky. Bloop. And easy as that. So once we put this on here, how big is that? Oh, that actually works out quite nicely. Feel like I know I want to put something here, but I just don't know what to put there. Pumpkin patch. Let's try that. Oh, see, that is so much better. I'm glad I kept looking. Okay. And this is just chipboard. Um, yeah, that works so much better. And it's cute because it's a bunch of pumpkins. Pumpkin and patch. So y'all will have to let me know um, if you guys prefer the, you know, I've already cut out all the pages and everything and I'm just putting them together or if you like watching me try to figure out how the pages are going to come together like we did the first page. All right. I like that. That's cute. Okay. And then we're going to glue the whole kit and caboodle down to our mat here. And then we're going to glue that our page. Just like that. Yeah. Okay, 
and then double check your upside down or your not upside down rather. There you go. And now we have pages two and three. So this is our first page with our thingies that is now right side up, mind you. And I think I want to put something here, but I don't know. I'll think on that and then um, I'll let you guys know what we decide to do. So that's the first page. That's the page we did today page two with our pocket and then page three with our belly band. Cool. All right. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I enjoyed playing with you guys and I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys.